Chakras. So, uh, Aries, let's get into your reading. All right, overall energy for Aries, love situation, what is going on? So you can be single in a connection, thinking about somebody, it's for whoever's on your mind the most, you guys, it is general, all right? If you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box. If you'd like to enter, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. All right, uh, we are in Mercury Retrograde. I don't know if you guys watch those videos. If not, go back into my playlist. But we have past life relationship. You've known each other before. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And trust, chemistry, wow, calling in your soulmate, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, this could be somebody from the past coming back to return uh, chemistry. There could have been a lot of sexual tension there or just really good sex in general um, <laughs> that I feel either you would like to give this a chance or your person who's trying to come back. <coughs> Sorry, I was feeling a cough coming on. That's why I was like, Ugh. <laughs> all right. So um, I feel like trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. So um, have some faith in this, all right? If this person's coming back and like did you dirty in the past, maybe they've changed. Maybe they've learned a lesson. Um, heart to heart conversations was there too. So maybe you need to have a really uh, heart to heart intimate talk. <laughs> all right, so starting off with three of cups. So either there could have been a third party involved in this um, connection before or um, it could become a third party if you're in a connection they're in a connection whatever all right place it where you see fit or this could just be uh, wanting to celebrate here and really like wanting to celebrate getting all up in there all right um, some of you might like to wear thigh highs or your person likes when you wear thigh highs, vice versa, you guys, all right? Somebody may like to kiss necks or like getting their neck kissed. All right, what else? Current energies, what's going on for Aries and their person? Current energies, Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away due to a third party, I feel. Whether it was you or them... I feel like it was you, Aries, you walked away due to a third party. I don't know if you guys, could, there's like one hair sticking up. I can't get it to go down. Whatever. I feel like, yeah, there was some, you walked away because there was too many people involved. This person also could have been partying too much, drinking too much, going out, hanging out with friends too much. All right. Um, maybe not a third party, but maybe there was too much partying going on. Uh, we have the hanged man, Pisces energy. Yeah, you had to walk away and pull your energy back to get some clarity or get a different perspective. Or when you walked away, it gave this person a change in perspective or some clarity on their behavior, their actions, all right? Um, some of you really love to dance um, with each other. Like when you went out and danced, it was like you both had the same rhythm and beat and it was like amazing. That chemistry was there. All right, and I feel like that's what's making this so hard. Um, for some of you, you guys could have like went on a hike or picnic in the woods or something outdoorsy and got freaky with each other out, outside, outdoors. All right, what else? Current energies, please, for Aries, current energies. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. You don't have to be. It could be anybody, you guys. I'll say the signs as they come up. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. You're holding back from this person, Aries. You're, you're really holding your energy back. Um, I feel like they are very much holding on to you, though. All right. Um, I feel like you completely turn them on. You get them going. Um, I feel like they admire your body, male or female, you guys. It doesn't matter. Okay. There's no gender in tarot. So I'm trying to, you know, with whatever. But I feel like somebody really admires your beauty. 
find you like extremely sexy. You turn them on. You turn them on. All right, blockages. What are blockages in this connection for Aries? Blockages. Some of you, if you're a female or connected to a female, they have like really long hair, like beautiful long hair. Um, nine of cups being blocked, 10 of wands and a uh, page of swords. There could have been an age difference between the two of you or somebody may have been acting a little bit like immature. Um, communication could have been lacking or I feel like they didn't actually express to you how much uh, they were really into you. All right. Or um, that burden here, 10 of wands really, really caused a huge burden and a wish fulfillment was blocked. I feel like this person like wants to come back to you and like heart to heart conversations and talk to you. And I feel like Aries, you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to let this person back in, into my heart, into my emotions, or even into my thoughts or head, you know? Because I'm, I'm sensing like from the pictures here, like this person really wants to like hold your hands and like kiss you all over and tell you like how much they admire your beauty and appreciate you. And, and this isn't always about looks, you guys. I mean, I feel like this person really, really like deep down inside loves who you are. And I feel like they fucked up. They fucked up. They caused a huge burden. And they know it. They know it. And I feel like they want to talk to you about it, but I feel like you're kind of like holding back on that. The conversation here with them. Ace of Wands being blocked. Yeah, that passionate new beginning. You're not letting them in. It's like you're, you're kind of keeping your back turned towards this person. For some of you, you have like a fireplace or cuddled by a fire or had sex by a fire or just really like that or candlelight or something along those lines. Or it's like you were just a really like cozy, felt like home energy to this person. And they want that back. I feel like they're craving that energy back in their life. Let's see, how does this person feel about you, Aries? How does this person feel? Queen of Swords. You're, you're being very cold, cut off. Blunt probably brutally honest with this person. And Aries, you guys are known to speak your mind. It's usually the truth, though. It's not lies. You're not manipulating. You're usually, you call a spade a spade, so to speak, right? Um, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're standing your ground. You're standing up for yourself. You're communicating clearly. You're in this air energy here, this queen of um, swords. So if not, you could be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, there's something with like thigh highs, like lingerie, candlelight or a fire. Let me know in the comments if that resonates. The message may not be for everyone. All right. What else? King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I feel like this person also sees you as very stable, grounded, mature, long lasting, abundant. It's like, I almost feel like you intimidate them a little bit, Aries, <laughs> which isn't uncommon for you fire signs to do, right? I feel like you do a little bit intimidate them. Um, because you have control. And I feel like this person feels a little bit weak around you. They see you as like the more take charge, fiery, um, 
takes action, goes after passions, desires, doesn't mess around. You know what I mean? Like you, you're goal oriented. And I feel like this person sees you in that energy and they admire it. At the same time, I feel like they are also intimidated by it. So they want to talk to you. They want you to let them back in. But I feel like you have your guard up with this person. All right, what else? What else? How else do they feel about Aries? How else do they feel? How else do they feel? It's like they have their tail between their legs. <laughs> You know, when it comes to you, three of pentacles, they want to work together, collaborate, build, be on that same page, have that same vision and same goal as you. Um, three of pentacles is a lot about like turning like fantasy, dreams, passions, ideas, that kind of a thing into reality. And I feel like this person fantasizes heavily about you and I, they want it to be a reality. I feel like they want to like pick you up, sweep you off your feet, grab you, kiss you, touch you all over. They just want you to be like, like Aries is mine, you know, and not in like a controlling narcissistic way. Like they, they, I feel like they genuinely really just want to have you back or have you in their life. Definitely, definitely want to see you naked and kiss you and touch you all over. All right, what else? How else do they feel? King of Wands. So here you are. We have the Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, and King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. This is you. So they see you in Aries energy elevated a little bit, right? So they they think very highly of you. They put you on a pedestal. Whether you see this or not, or realize this or not, I don't think they've ever actually told you exactly. Because I feel like there was a lack in communication or when they communicated, it was kind of like, I don't want to say immature communication. It just wasn't like heart to heart. Uh, conversations here and I mean I feel like they screwed up or made a mistake somehow whether it was partying too much putting friends first or putting you in a third party situation whatever that was I feel like you guys never had that conversation of how much you actually really do mean to this person and now they see you as like a very strong powerful energy again they see you you know, you communicate clearly, you're, you're kind of blunt, you're a little bit cold and cut off with walls up. Um, you're also very stable, grounded. You are a long term commitment type person, you're loyal. And you have that fiery, passionate chemistry energy about you, you're fun, flirty, outgoing, um, spontaneous, you know, really goes after what they want. And I feel like this person loves you for that energy. They want to like hug you. They want to kiss you. They want to touch you. And I feel like when, if, if you let this person back in Aries, I feel like it's going to be a very long hug. <laughs> Possibly like tears, you know? All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome here for Aries and this person? Potential outcome. King of Swords. Wow. Wow. King and Queen of Swords now on the board. That's usually a divine counterpart, you guys. It doesn't really matter the element, the sign. Whenever there's a King and Queen, it's usually divine counterparts. A soulmate bond, a soul contract. I do feel so potential outcome here. So King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me know if you're dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be, but I have literally every element on the board. So it could be anyone. I feel like somebody uh, might be really jealous if you two got back together, whether it's somebody that you know or somebody that they know, family member, a friend, an ex, something like that. I feel like there would be jealousy. If you are in a connection with somebody else, Aries, and, you know, this person knows and whatever, watches you on social media, which could be going on, 
um, I feel like they may be a little bit jealous that you have somebody else. See how there's somebody in the window watching? I feel like there's some kind of level of like a secret snake or secret admirer kind of lurking in the background, a little bit jealous of you two or the connection that you have or had. Um, Page of Pentacles. This person is going to come to you. They're going to make a small offer. It's not going to be a very strong offer. It's not going to match your energy. Um, so I feel like you're going to be a little bit disappointed. However, again, there could be an age difference, but I feel like their intention is to start not way like brand new fresh, but like, hey, let's just kind of like me halfway and start. Start here and not like rush into anything. You know me, I know you. Let's kind of take it from there and see what happens. I feel like that's the kind of energy that's going to come towards you with this person. Be ready though for some passionate, almost like kinky, crazy love making. If you let this person back in. Five of Pentacles. Don't string this person along, Aries. Be blunt. Be honest. If you're just not into it, you're not, right? But don't string this person along. You may abandon this um, connection because you feel like they're not coming towards you with, like they're not matching your energy. Two of Swords, yeah. And you're trying to make a head over heart decision when it comes to them. I feel like they're like, wake up and smell the roses. There's something about wake up and smell the roses here. I feel like this person's trying to get your attention, Aries. And I feel like you're kind of in an unbothered energy when it comes to them. Ooh. They really, really, really just want to, like, take you and have you and go crazy with you. In the bedroom, you know. Some of you may like pull hair pulling or whips. Ugh. I feel like they just really, you, you turn them on. You do it for them, Aries. All right, what else? We have Six of Pentacles. And Knight of Wands. Yep. Oh, there's a card under that. And the Tower. Scorpionic energy. Sagittarius energy. Again, there could be somebody that has some jealousy going on. Or I feel like this person really just wants to grab you and take you and have you. And that Tower, it's like they want something to kind of get shooken up here to bring you two back together all right i feel like if you do walk away from this person there you could experience a tower moment or it would be a tower to them like almost like they'd be really really like devastated or like sad they're in the at night of wands energy i feel like they want to come towards you you know with passion and chemistry and romance and come charging toward, towards you with, like, their fire stick, you know, like their magic stick, right? Male or female, whatever, you know what I mean. It's like they want to come charging by you and, like, scoop you up and take you away into the sunset. And they want things to be balanced with that Six of Pentacles. They want that equal give and take reciprocity. Will Aries take them back? Will Aries take them back? I mean, it's free will, you guys. Ten of Cups. Well, you might. You might. And you might actually be pleasantly surprised with the outcome here. And then we have the Empress. Yeah. Loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile, growth, a new beginning, starting fresh. That can grow and, and be abundant, long-lasting, long-term. 
you're going to have a big decision to make. Yeah, look at the Hierophant. I feel like this could actually be long term, you guys. If you if you give it a chance, if this is resonating with you and you know exactly who this is, you might have a, a long term chance here because I feel like that's what's on this person's mind. And again, this could be vice versa, Aries. This could be me, you I'm talking about, and you know, just, you can reverse the energies here. It's general. All right. What's the biggest thing Aries is going to have to overcome in this connection? Biggest obstacle Aries is going to have to overcome. Thank you. Projections. All right. So in the past or even now, it, there could be a lot of like blame game, projections, triggers, you know, things that come to the surface here. Um, well, you did this and you did that and you know, things that, just projecting things onto each other, all right? That could be a big obstacle here. If this person was known to do that in the past and you didn't like it, um, that could be something you guys have to work on. And then flowering, blossoming, blooming is an over, over, something to overcome here. To actually get this to go and become something, right? To blossom. Because I feel like you really do have your walls up, all right? All right, what are what advice do we have? And I keep screwing up my words, you guys. Mercury retrograde always gets me, so I apologize. All right, advice for Aries. Stuck. Yeah. Block, third party, silence, barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy. So you're feeling stuck. Have that heart to heart and then make that decision, you know? Take it slow. And I'm not here to tell you what to do, but fear. Yeah, of course. Darkness, hesitation, insecurity. Know that you are protected, all right? You have fear, which is causing you to feel stuck, which is understandable. If they hurt you really bad in the past, you don't want to go through that again. Nobody ever does. So it's calling for you to trust and have faith. Regret, remorse, uh, life regrets, loss. Start making empowered choices. And free will, choices, decisions, contact, inaction. Action cannot be forced. You have free will here. The choice is yours, all right? This person has huge regrets and you have fear and it's causing you to feel stuck. All right, what else do we have for Aries? Anything else for Aries? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah. There's definitely heartbreak here. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally having fun. I know, I know there's insane chemistry, you guys. There's chemistry here. And passion. And that's probably what makes it so hard. Wedding rings. Some of you could have been married to this person or this could lead to marriage. I do see long term here. All right. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make new memories or making memories. You're both reminiscing, thinking about each other. Aries, you're just really trying to be strong right now when it comes to this connection and stand your ground and keep your walls up. Um, again, do what you want. I feel like the energy here, this could be worth exploring or at least having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation to see where it can go. Um, but that is what I have for you, Aries. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment below to be